Hi everyone! Let's kick off this year by a series of videos about basic Mac elements. Maybe you've been lucky enough and got new MacBook for Christmas. Or maybe you just want to set up the things more efficiently. Either way, this is the right video for you. Let's start with Finder. I don't have a new MacBook, but I have removed all of my own folders and reset the settings as close to default set as possible. Once you open new Finder window with Command and Shortcut, it will open it right here in the middle, covering the useful content, in this case, covering me. So I'll take that window, move it aside and close it. That will reset its default position and put it down there. I have made a whole video about this, so if you want to understand better how it works, check out the pop-up banner above. But now let's move to the sidebar because a lot of stuff which is defaultly set there in the sidebar is useless and you can fully change that. So start by coming to find the settings here on top in the menu bar and switch to the sidebar tab. Here deselect all of the useless folders like shared, recent, airdrop. I will show you better options how to airdrop files and also how to access your recent files in just a moment. But now let's remove as many folders as you can. You can also deselect the movies, music and pictures, because these only give you access to your libraries, which you don't need to be accessing this way at all. I personally use these folders to store my own music and my own video clips, but if you don't use it like that, you can also remove it. And I also don't see any point of keeping the bin icon in there. You can always access it down here from the dock, it will always be there. And the dock is the panel which we will customize in the next video. So I think this is the right time for you to subscribe if you want to see that as well. But now back to the sidebar. Once you have removed all of the folders, you can replace them with your own most used folders. And these folders can be anywhere around macOS, even on your external drive. Now I think we are done with the sidebar, so we can also fix the main viewing view. First, change to a list view. That's the easier way to navigate between the files and also see a lot of your important details about all of these files, like the file size, date modified. Actually, you can right click this panel and select what information is shown. And you can also adjust the column size and location. But there are other places where it's better to work with icons, like when you work with images. For example, in this folder, I can switch to icons view. What is cool on that? is that the other folder is still staying in the list view. So you can set up the right view for each of your folders separately. Now it might be a little bit confusing that I'm jumping between many folders. Let's fix that by going to the view menu and enable the path bar. Now you know the exact location in Finder and you can also use it to easily move between different folders. While we are there, also enable the status bar. That way you can always know the number of files in the folders and also the amount of free storage you have left on your hard drive. By the way, if you are running out of space, check out my new video where I talk about storage and where I show you how to discover all of the hidden files which are taking up your free space. Now back to Finder, we have there one more functional bar to customize. It's the toolbar which sits right on top. By default it comes with all of these functions, but we can customize it by right clicking it and selecting the option to customize toolbar. First, I get rid of tags and groups, just because I don't use them. I also remove the action button, because you can get all of these options from simply right clicking each file. Before, we also remove the airdrop from the sidebar. Here we can actually edit, and now I can drag and drop any file in there to share it via airdrop. And if you open the share menu, you can also customize it by turning off some of the extensions. If you are sharing the files only with AirDrop, you can also fully remove the share button. But what I will surely keep at the end is the search box. This will allow you to search your entire Mac within a second, or just switch to search only the folder you are viewing. If you prefer to be searching only the individual folders, go to Finder settings, switch to advanced, and under performing a search, change it to search the current folder. Anyway, the search will filter away all of the files based on the criteria you use for the search. You know, when you are trying to open a song like this, it will automatically open in the Apple Music and put it into the library. But you can easily change it. I prefer to just listen to it using VLC player. 
So I can right click on that file, go to open with, but now hold the option key down and it will change into always open with. This way we can set up each file individually or go into info and change the default app for opening this type of files. Now let's go back to the beginning of the video. I already showed you how to change the default position of the finder window, but you can also change the default location inside your hard drive. So go back to finder settings and on the general tab, choose a folder you would like to have quick access when you open your finder window. In the beginning of this video, I have also promised you to replace the recents folder with something more useful. Default recents folder is just a smart folder which lists all of your files, folders and applications sorted by recently used. And it can be quite a mess. Let's create our own version of that. From the file menu, select new smart folder. It will start a search, but you don't actually need to search for anything. Just press the plus button and instead of a name, select last the open date. Now you can choose the time period. It can be a week, month, it's up to you. And to make it even better, you can exclude the applications from the search. So hold down the option key and press on these three dots. That will create an extra condition. Here switch to none and set up the kind to be an application. Now you can save it. And in the save dialog, make sure to tick on add to sidebar. Now you will have quick access to your new recents folder in the finder sidebar. Now I think we have cleaned it up quite nicely and we have more functional finder window with all of the extra settings around so I can move between all of my files much easier. If you find this video useful, please give it a like so I know you enjoy this kind of videos and I will focus on another part of macOS in the next one. So see you there.